walking in the <laughs> Hey guys, it's Sarah here coming back at you with a new crafty video. Today I'm going to be customizing a denim jacket, so uh, let's go get it. Let's venture into my seriously messy closet. I am extremely embarrassed that I'm showing you guys this, but it's real life. I have not cleaned this out, organized it since I moved in, and not something I'm proud of, but it's the truth. Meanwhile, Craig's side is looking real organized and I'm kind of jealous. All right, I guess it's kind of an organized mess because I know exactly what I'm getting and where it is. This guy. I am so sorry you had to see that. Please don't judge me. For those of you who are still here despite my messiness, thank you for sticking around. Be sure to please ring the bell to turn notifications on. That way you will never miss out on a new upload here. Now, without further ado, let's get into customizing this jean jacket. Whoa, would you look at this? Another kind of messy closet. This one's better. I'm working on it. So let's see how many um, fabric paints I have in here. I think it's this drawer. Ooh, I'm on this kick of trying to use supplies that I already have. That doesn't mean I won't buy new things, but look at all these that I've just had sitting around for a while. Come on, come on. There we go. So I'm just gonna pick out all the matte paints instead of the puffy ones because I don't want a puffy jacket. I just dropped everything. <laughs> These are all the different colors I ended up finding in the drawer. A very decent variety, I'd say. And of course, now I'm going to transform this jean jacket that I've had for quite a few years. I actually haven't worn it in a while, but it's not something that I wanted to get rid of. I still find denim jackets to be a staple piece for a wardrobe and a great item to have on a photo shoot if you enjoy doing Instagram photos. The first thing I'm going to do is create a rough outline of the design that I want on this jacket. So I'm taking a colored pencil, any brand will work. I'm using Prismacolor, but that's just what I had out. And I have a white one. It doesn't really matter what color you use because the point of this is that you're supposed to paint over it anyway, but it is way too scary to just go straight in with paint. That stuff's permanent and you know, I'm not about messing up right away. After getting the basic gist of the design down, I'm mixing white and black fabric paint. I decided that I'm going to go grayscale for the woman that I have here. Right now, I'm just blocking in the shape of her face and her hair. So no shading or anything. I'm just going in with a solid color and I'm basically just mapping out her entire face and then trying to leave some of the key um, feature lines, such as the eyes and the eyebrows. I'm trying to leave those so they are visible underneath the paint, but still kind of painted in, if that makes sense. I wanna get all the texture of the jacket covered. And that requires at least a couple layers of paint. So this did take a little bit. I know it looks really funny right now, but trust me later on, it'll be a lot cuter and a lot more human looking instead of clown-like. At this point, I actually mixed way too much gray. I'm just not going to do any of those details right now. I'm gonna move on to the lettering. So in order to not waste all that paint, I just went ahead and colored in the hair, painted a layer of nonsense basically just to use it up so right now her hair looks pretty funny but just disregard that the first thing i'm doing with the lettering is outlining in black it is very difficult to use fabric paint let me just say it dries very quickly it gets kind of clumpy and it's just not the easiest to paint on fabric with something that's not the smoothest you have to work like i said in a hurry and that's not something I'm ever able to do and make something look good so I'm always really slow with my artwork for the most part. I'm not sure if any of you guys at this point recognize 
what font this is. It's actually Def Leppard font. I love them. I've always been a huge fan of 70s and 80s music and some of the rock bands. The quote is actually Aerosmith. Well, it's a song title and lyric, whatever. In the comment section below, let me know what some of your favorite bands are. They can be older, they can be newer. I'm just curious. I'm always looking for different songs to put on my playlist. Now we have to add a pop of color. So I have every color of the rainbow. It's more of a pastel version. I mixed the purple myself with blue and pink. I wanted to make this kind of a dreamy, abstract paint splatter type deal where it just fades from color to color. Yeah, it's more of color blocking actually. I didn't blend them really, but here you can see I am just going from color to color. It was really difficult, again, to paint with these and create the splatter drip lines. I don't even know how long it took. And as you can see, the green paint, for whatever reason, is very globby and slime-like. So this was extra difficult to paint with, but I made it work. P.S. Whatever paint brushes you are using for this project, they will probably get ruined. This paint ends up drying um, the bristles and it doesn't really come off. It hardens on there. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Not a huge deal, but just so you're aware. These colors ended up very dull with just one layer. So I actually did two or three for each color after letting them dry in between coats. And it ended up like this. Here we have Kitty Cat Leo, the star of the show. Like, I feel like that's why all of you guys are here because <laughs> he's cute. Hey buddy. Show me your bow. After outlining all the letters with the color blobs, a lot of touch-up work was in need. So here's some of that. I did so many touch-ups. It was just difficult. I don't have a small enough brush. I probably could have went in with maybe a needle tool and used that as a kind of paintbrush, but I didn't. I made things a lot harder on myself it all worked out in the end. So as you can see, the blue, for whatever reason, was not sparkly like the other colors, and therefore the purple isn't really either because I mixed. So yeah, I am going in with a pure glitter. I'm so glad that I had this, and I'm just putting glitter on top of that so everything is more cohesive and blends together, just fits in nicely with the design. And you know, you can't go wrong with glitter. I love glitter. Then another, absolutely painstakingly tedious step is doing the white. So this took over an hour and again, more touch-ups were needed with black in some spots, but I was so, so happy when this was finished. And then that meant that I could move on to adding detail to the face. And for this, I was finally able to start defining the features. I made the chin less long so it looked more realistic and this I turned into the neck and I put some shoulders behind um, the lettering to kind of make it look like she blends in with everything and is fading off into the distance. I am now just going to add the rest of her features, like I said, and for some areas I did use a colored pencil line and a ruler to help me get things looking a little bit more mirror imaged. So, um, you know, her face wasn't all wonky and completely off kilter, I don't know. Um, I'm very bad at just eyeballing things and making them the exact same. So a little bit of measuring was in need um, her lips, <laughs> I mean, you could see by the lips that I messed up. I'm glad that this is really easy to paint over and just disguise any mistakes. So moving on, I was able to fix, you know, a lot of stuff that I had messed up. And then I went into the hair to finish that up and add some texture in that area. The hair, I mean, it looks like it took probably 10 minutes, but again, over an hour. This paint is not easy to paint with. Also, I did want to throw in here that you guys can use acrylic paint or at least you can mix some acrylic paint with fabric paint and I guess it's just supposed to give a different consistency and it still will adhere to the fabric and stay there, but you might have to do an extra step at the end which would be to heat set it. I don't know all the details so you'll have to google how to do that, but yeah, this fabric paint should adhere 
permanently without doing any of the extra work. So I just stuck with plain fabric paint. I really am proud of it. I don't know for sure if I wanna add anything to the background because I'm so terrified of messing it up. I feel like it looks so cute and I'm just like really happy with the design how it is. I have been contemplating putting maybe another rainbow drip at the top, but I don't want that to take the focal point away from the dream on. And I'm just so conflicted. I don't know, maybe if I'll add some white or off-white stars to the back, maybe that would tie everything in together well and really play off the dream aspect of it. So let me know what you think in the comment section below. Pretty please give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed. If you wanna check out my entire customization series where I transform shoes, shelves for room decor and other things. I will leave that playlist in the description box below as well as in the iCard up in the corner. I hope you guys have a great rest of the day. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next week. Bye.